Hello and welcome to FedScoop TV. We're here today at the VMware Public Sector Innovation Summit, and our guest today is the CTO of the District of Columbia, Archana Vemopali. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Archana, you know, what are your top three priorities for this year? What are you trying to get done? Uh, so, my top three priorities are all non-technical. Uh, they're really driving a cultural change across the organization. So, we're focusing on three things. We're focusing on innovation, inclusion, and impact. Right. Um, so, we're driving innovation across the organization. We are making it a much more inclusive culture where ideas and um, you know really creative ways of doing new things can come from anywhere. And then we're really making sure that projects we deliver on, we're really delivering maximum impact. Mm, that's a great answer. And what you know technological or policy you know challenges are you facing that, that are really impacting the way that you do your job? So um, the one thing I think that's important to note is that technology is constantly changing. And I think when you make your peace with that. Uh, you, you don't get faced by what comes at you. I think what you need to get on top of is the speed at which change comes. So I think traditionally, it's not just government, I think industry too has this concept of building multi-year roadmaps. And the problem with multi-year roadmaps is they're static. You build it once and then you assume that the technology at that day and point is going to impact your decisions for the next two, you know, three to five years. Um, and I think things change quickly and I think you need to be more adaptive in terms of what your out out outer years are going to look like and you need to course correct as need be. So that's really, I think, the challenge and that's really the difficulty is taking an organization that's very traditional in its approach of planning you know, in a five-year timeline or a ten-year timeline and say, wait, we need to actually come back and really focus on this year or the next couple of years and, and make ourselves more nimble so that if technology shifts, we can rapidly shift without too much of a cost. That's a great answer. And what would you say is the number one way that you're driving innovation across your office? So the, the first step I think we've done is really had a listening exercise. So we, you know, I pretty much opened up my calendar, met people across the organization. We're continuing to do that because some of the best ideas of how we can improve and bring efficiencies about comes from people that have done it for eight, ten years, and they said, you know, this is why we see a process and it doesn't work. Here's how we can do things better and faster. And so I think the first step is that. The second step is really, you know, pushing the culture down. Um, I think if you build into people's mindset that innovation needs to come from each and every person in each and every role, um, I think you have a lot more value. And if you see really successful companies, Google being one of them, right, um, I think that cultural um, sort of alignment is what's driven really great ideas, and that's what we're hoping to do. Well, that's great. Well, thank you, Archana, for being with us today, and congratulations on your recent confirmation. And we look forward to seeing more from you in the District of Columbia. Thank you very much, and thank you again for having me. This has been FedScoop TV here at VMware's Public Sector Innovation Summit. Thanks for watching.